Well, I'm joined now by the former Chancellor, Kwasi Kwasi. Kwasi, great to see you. How are you? You've never said sorry for, I've never what, for said what happened a year ago, oh, just I've over said, a year ago. What I've said, I bear responsibility for it. Why not say and, sorry? And, and what I want to do is to make sure that we actually get back uh, to a growth agenda. What do you bear year... responsibility for? Well, I think the way that we delivered it and the, and the speed with which it was delivered mm. was wrong. And I put my, I've put up my hand uh, frequently and said we should have taken more time, we should have had a more balanced uh, approach. Uh, and I've said that repeatedly in interviews... Uh, on yeah, television. Yeah, but I'm, re I'm really curious why you've never been able to bring yourself to say the simple words, I'm sorry. After all the damage that was inflicted by that ruinous 44-day regime of Liz Truss, and I'm sure that you would say, and we'll come to this, a lot of it was on her. No, but I'm, not, you... I'm not here to apportion blame. I mean, that's, the, that's one of the reasons why... But if you take why, responsibility for causing... That's one of the reasons why. I, I get it. But if you, take, so and... if you take responsibility, why are you so, also not prepared to say sorry? So I think there's a... It sounds like a loyally distinction, but I think there's a difference between saying I was responsible... Sounds like a bit like a cowardly distinction. Saying, no, quasi. because actually, a lot of the debate, and you've probably been following this, mm. if you look at things like slavery and reparations and all of that, all of that is all about saying, I'm sorry. And in, in those instances, the people themselves weren't entirely responsible I for agree. stuff that happened yeah, but, but two on. or three hundred years yeah, ago. I agree with you. So, so what, in terms I, of I don't see why people today should be apologising for the behaviour no, of ancestors three hundred years ago. So, but, so, but you were no, you were the guy. No, but again, as in government, uh, there are lots of different people, there are lots of different agencies, mm. lots of different people who are involved. So it doesn't make any sense. You were the chancellor. It, you know, it doesn't make any sense for someone like, for example, Gillian Keegan to mm. say sorry when there's all of this stuff happened uh, over over many decades. Mm. And there were lots of things. No, but, that, no, no, come, but hang on. Let's, no, but let's talk about the mini budget. About, about you for a let's talk about the mini budget. Yeah. There were lots of things that were going on. You say it crashed the pound. The the the, the um, Federal Reserve had put up interest rates, mm. and the Japanese yen and the euro were at fifty-year lows. The main reason the pound, low. as you know, the main reason the pound tanked it, as for, rapidly for, as it did for a week, for a week. But and then the it main came reason back, the markets freaked because back. you had these so, billions and so, billions so, of unfunded tax cuts. And cars. where and where. The straw that broke the camel's back was actually the gilts. It wasn't the currency market. Mm. It was actually the uh, what were called the LDI's long-term uh, gilt market, mm. where interest rates went up, uh, and there was there, there was a run on that. And the bank intervened. My own view. I mean, I didn't sack myself. I wanted to stick it out no, no. and see it through. Um, the Prime Minister took a different route. And, but do you, you know, accept that what you did was a massive mistake? So I think that the delivery of it um, was was a mistake. Left a lot to be desired. Having forty-five billion of tax cuts that haven't been funded. Even, so, to, even to a sort of non-academic no, financial no, no, brain no, like no, mine, so, so, looked like lunacy. No, but the, 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 it was a straw that broke the camel's back. So she campaigned very clearly not to increase our, a corporation tax mm. leadership and to reverse the NI increase. Mm. And that was £35 billion. Mm. And what, what, where we went too far was probably in trying to get rid of the 45p rate. Mm. So the point about... The reason I think principally it went wrong was that there was just too much in it. But there and, was... And on top but of quasi, that, there was immediate harm to millions of people in, there the, was, in the country. It, it, was a very turb, it was a very turbulent Yeah, your turbulence... Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, your Except turbulence that. was another person's mortgage Except hell. that. And I've also openly said that, you know, I was exposed, uh, ironically enough, uh, to that as well. I mean, lots of people... So here's my question for you again. I, I'm really. Struggling. I'm not going to come here and say uh, wear a hair shirt and apologise and why not and, and, and say so why not because I want to look forward and I want to. Uh, well, I'm sure you do, but I want to look back. We're a I year. Really, I you want to look back. We're a year on. But I don't think that's. But the reason I want to look back is Rishi Sunak was in competition with Liz Truss to be the prime minister at the time, mm. and he warned when she was talking about all these tax cuts she was going to do. He warned this. So I don't think the responsible thing to do right now is launch into some unfunded spree of borrowing and more debt. That will just make inflation worse. It will make the problem longer. Let's be clear. We have inflation <coughs> because of our monetary policy, that we haven't been tough enough on the monetary supply. That's the way I would address that issue. OK. But it is wrong... Interest rates up. Mortgage is nightmare. Yeah, it is... It is... <laughs> well, look, look, we, we, Liz, we have to be honest. We, well, we have to honest. be honest. But borrowing your way out of inflation isn't a plan. It's a fairy tale. Well, he was right. I think he was right to an extent. He was I right think, completely. I, no, no, because I think where she was right, where we were right, mm. was identifying growth. And that will be an issue that you will have endless mm. conversations with politicians in the next few years. Because it's very unclear if you have a very high tax system, which mm. we're currently in, how you get growth. I think where we went wrong, and I'm very happy to confess this, is there was just too much 
uh, too quickly. I think if she'd done the measures she campaigned on, I think we'd have been okay. And of course, you've got to remember that this is on top of the energy intervention, mm. which was cost billions. No, no, billions. listen, there were lots of other things yeah, going yeah. on. So, and that, I'm not that's... disputing that. I just, I find it interesting that politicians today find it increasingly difficult to just say sorry. So when, when, the, when the consequences of their decisions and actions, you were Chancellor, she was the Prime Minister, when the direct consequences were felt immediately by millions of so, people so in this country... So I think, as I said... I think there's a... But why are you in, so implacably opposed to no, wearing... No, 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 the, in your clip. Wearing the hair shirt... Because like, you sorry. just apologise for everything. I mean, literally, no, you don't. would apologise for No, you for don't. That, and people there are always, many things I don't think always, people should apologise no, for. always... I mean, you, a, a moderate, you know, reasonable person, but politicians were always being... No-one's called got, me that you, in you years. You've you got to be... You've got to be... You've got to apologise for this, you've got to apologise for that. Yeah, but you were, the, you were, were you the shortest well, living Chancellor in history? Well, actually, Ian McLeod was, but that's a different... so you're the second shortest living Chancellor. Hang on, hang on. OK. Shortest living Chancellor in history... She was one of the shortest... The shortest. Prime, the yeah. shortest prime minister. 44 days of That's right. mayhem, right? She couldn't even outlast a lettuce. So, on every metric of political life, putting aside everything else, the pair of you will go down in history, whether you like it or not, as disasters well, in that period, right? And I simply ask, given the magnitude... So, I'm not coming here to, to, to formally apologise. Why not? Sorry. I am what I am saying is yeah, but wait, that but I hang was on, responsible. All right. And there were lot as you said, I know you don't said, I know you don't want to. I'm just no, no, curious. As you've said. No, but, Quasi, I'm curious. Why not? And as you've said, why not? There were lots and lots, there were lots and lots of other factors. I know. But and Quasi, I actually happen to believe Quasi, that what we were trying to do from a strategic point of view, trying to lower taxes and trying to make the country more productive and, and wealth creating and was a good thing. I know what you both believed, but it turned out you were both wrong. No, no, no. Catastrophically no, 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 wrong. No, the implementation was, was wrong. I accept that. It was a disaster. But I think the, strate the strategy was the right thing. But, but again, I understand you don't want to apologise. My question is why? Because I don't think that uh, the strategy was the wrong strategy. I don't apologise for the strategy. I just think the implementation and the way in which it was delivered could have been improved massively. And, I, and I've well, you freely, said it, you said it was I've a, freely accepted that. You said it was a big mistake. No, I said... The, so there are two things. There's a strategic goal. Mm. I want to have a lower tax Britain. Mm. And there's a way you get there. Mm. Now, the way that we... The implementation we used, I think, left a lot to be desired. I think it was the wrong thing at the wrong time. We went too far. Yes. However, the strategy, where we wanted to get to, was absolutely Well, I'm right. sure... But, you know... That's, and that's an important thing. That's an important distinction. It's fine, but the reality of your actions is that millions of people in this country suffered immediate financial harm. And to those... I don't want an apology from you, to me, but there are people watching so, this... So, uh, hang on. There are people watching this who went through genuine financial I agree. I agree. harm I, I, as a consequence true. of your actions. So don't apologise to me, but for them, I'm very really curious why you would be prepared to look down the barrel of the camera on a show like this and not just say, I'm sorry for so what happened. So what, what I would do is just say, uh, you know, we could have done things better. Force but yourself. I'm not going to apologise for the actual strategy. apologising? You're sounding worse. I'm not apologising for, for, for the strategy. I think it was the right strategy, but the implementation was wrong. Apologise for the shocking implementation. So, look, I'm not going to come here. You always do this. You get people on and you, you want them to sort of wear the hair shirt and... and no, I don't. ...and humiliate them. But no, I'm, I'm not... I'm not I don't, I have no wish to humiliate you whatsoever. I honestly don't. I have zero wish to humiliate you. I actually thought you were going to be a really good Chancellor, for what it's worth. Right? No, no, thank you. That, that's right. very kind of you. Yeah. And I think the pair of you lost your minds. I think we went too far too fast. Right. I, I, think, I accept that. I think you lost your minds and you got way ahead of yourselves, but the consequences of your actions led to you being fired, yep. Liz Truss hoping that would save her skin. It didn't. She then had to go to humiliation for the pair of you and for the country on the global stage. But again, I come back to one thing. You may not want to apologise, and I'm not after look, it for feel, me, look, look. but I'm not trying to humiliate you. No, no, no. You guys, no. with respect, Quasi, you guys humiliated yourselves. Well, OK. Um, right? And that, yeah. But in the process, you also exposed the country to humiliation. So, it was a very damaging period for Britain in terms of our standing around the world. And more importantly to me, millions of British people already suffering from a pandemic, already suffering a cost of living crisis, already suffering, suffering from energy costs uh, going through the roof, all these things, they then had the added financial burden as a consequence yeah, it was a, it of your... Was, it was a very yes, but, difficult time. So my point is... It was a very So my point is, time. you're a smart guy, you know that the decisions that you took led to that financial harm for millions of people in this country. Why are you not so, prepared? So, you see what this reminds me of? And you're going to laugh, but 
it reminds me of Frost trying to get that apology out of Nixon for the damage he'd done to the reputation of America. Why don't you just take a leaf out of Nixon's book? He didn't want to apologise either. He Look. resisted for years, and then eventually he sat back, and you can see his brain whirring, thinking, actually, you know what? Yes, I'm sorry. Why is it so hard? It's not, look, it's not hard. All I'm it saying is. Is it possible? Were, You're literally were, finding it no, impossible. No, but look, there were other. There were lots of other people involved in this. Okay, there was. I'm not. I'm you not were the take, chancellor. I'm not going to take sole responsibility. Uh, when there were lots of You're not taking any responsibility. And no, I do. I have taken responsibility. I'm not yeah, going to take not, sole responsibility. You don't think, it, you don't think not, what happened raises the bar look, to the level so of wanting to apologise? All I've said is that I'm, I took responsibility and, and, and we should have done things mm. in a more measured and a deliberate way. That would have been... Have you heard the Elton John song, Sorry Seems to Be the Yeah, it's a good... It's a, it's a, you like that song? It's a, it's a very good song. You played a lot? Uh, I'm not a big fan of Elton John, but I like right, that song. But you know that song? Yeah, 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 I do, I do know that song. Do those words resonate? <laughs> no, all I, look, I'm not coming here to relitigate you what happened last year. You spent 10 minutes not wanting to apologise. Um, and you, so, spent, you, spent, you spent the year not wanting to apologise. No, I've, and said, I've, just, I've, said, I've said millions of times that, you won't that I apologize. bear responsibility, that we, should have, we did things uh, in the wrong way. But in terms of the strategy, I still believe in the strategy, so I don't see why I should apologise for the strategy. Because the implementation was a total disaster. The implementation was... was so was when you thing. implement something as a chance of this country that causes huge financial harm immediately to millions of British people, the, the traditional then, thing is and, to say, you know what, I'm sorry for the damage and, I did. And, and if you look at where we are now, mm. obviously, you know, interest rates have more than doubled since I'm only uh, talking about the consequences of your actions. Since I was there. Admit. I think a lot of the... I'm talking about, by think, your own admission... I think, th I think thanks to... Quasi, um, I'm talking about, by your own admission, the consequences of your actions as Chancellor and the immediate impact they had... It was a difficult time. Well, I'm, not, I'm not going to come on the show you were the say, one. You were the one that no, caused this. No, no, no. I, I wasn't the sole... I mean, we've gone through this a million times. You were the Chancellor. I was not the sole agent of what happened. What, okay? what I can't I get my head around... Why are what you so desperate? And what I'm trying to say... Why are you so desperate not to... Because, because, because what will happen is if I say, oh, you know... I'm sorry. Well, then uh, gillian has got to say, everyone's got to apologise for everything. Never mind anybody time. else. No, that's important. And I just think that it's very easy to get politicians who are uh, ultimately responsible for things to try and say, OK, I'm sorry. When this, politicians sorry screw up badly and it impacts on millions of people's lives, I think that it is incumbent so, on so them look, not only to take responsibility, but to apologise. So, so, so I've taken responsibility. I accept that the implementation... Being not sorry. I still think the strategy... Was the right. You're not sorry for the implementation, and I think we'll come. You're not sorry for the implementation, and I think we'll come round to. Do you not find it a bit ridiculous? That no, you're... no, I don't, because because look, we're playing a game here. We're not playing I, a I'm, game. It's not I'm a game saying, to the millions of I'm people. I'm saying it's not a I game to the people whose lives were affected. I was saying that I was uh, completely responsible. Uh, not completely responsible, but I was involved in those decisions. Mm. Uh, some of those decisions we should have. But there uh, are people taken. watching this now. Quite honestly, I promise you, I've interviewed many people over mm. the years, thousands. There will be people watching this now going, why doesn't he just say sorry? What's the matter with him? Yeah, I can understand that. But I, all I want to say is that I, I don't apologise for, for the strategy. I think it's the right thing. I think we've got to have you are a lower You are perfectly tax. entitled... I think we've got to have a lower tax, Fine. more productive, yes, you can't wealth have a, creating But you can't society. have lower taxation without funding it properly. Yeah, I agree with that. And that was why... You didn't fund and it. We'd, if, we'd talk, if we'd actually talked through it, if we'd had time, that was why in the autumn statement I said, look, mm. I'm, going, I'm going to have a statement mm. where we're going to show spending restraint, which will fund the, the tax cuts. Mm. Unfortunately, and it wasn't a choice of mine, I was obviously sacked because of the turbulence, because of the market reaction. Mm. I was sacked before I was able to do that. Mm. And when Jeremy Hunt Did Liz came Trust in, say sorry to you? No, she hasn't apologised to me. She's never apologised to you. Uh, no, uh, she So hasn't. she screwed you, basically stuck a political knife in your back... Well, I was sacked, and I think the idea was that she would... She never apologised? No, 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 she hasn't done that, and I haven't uh, insisted upon it. She... Do you still talk to her? Yeah, I mean, I've spoken to her... When was the last time? Months. Well, a few months ago. So you don't really talk to her? <laughs> no, a few... Well, well, you don't, do you? No, a few, a few months ago, I see yeah. her in the House of she, Commons. She stabbed you in the back and wrecked um, your political and grip, so, right? And so once I was sacked, um, then, you know, she took responsibility, we got a new Chancellor in who's still there, mm. and a lot of the stuff... Let was me ask reversed. you, Anna, do you ever apologise for anything? Yeah, I mean, I apologise in my private life the whole time. When was the last time but you apologised for something? I think, um, I think I picked up my daughter from nursery uh, too late and I apologised then a couple of weeks So, ago. just to but, be clear... But, to, hang on. Just to be clear, you're happy to apologise to people... So, at a, hang on. At a nursery school yeah, for private, being a few minutes life. late to pick up your daughter, but you're not prepared to apologise no, no, no. to millions so, so, of people so look, for screwing so, their no, personal no, 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 finances. No, no. So, so that's but you see, where, my, that's where I look at it. I know where you're coming from. And you from, think I'm, I'm trying to humiliate you. I'm not. No, I'm just thinking from a public... In terms of public affairs, 
and public life, I think politicians make decisions. Um, and they, on, on the basis of uh, evidence, on the basis of their own uh, philosophy, if you like. Uh, and I've never been one for saying, you know, if a, as, a, as a politician, um, you know, you're personally um, damaging people. There's, there's policy, there's debate. But you did personally lots damage of them. Well, no, because there were lots of other things. I did not personally damage those people. Well, I you've did admitted not... the implementation I think of the implement your strategy and there was a lot of context. was so bad, it and there damaged was, people. There was a lot of context as well. You said, well, forget about the context. Well, no, you, the context is important. I know the context. I saw the reaction got, you to your know, policy. Uh, and I think that, yeah, and there, was a, there, was a, there were lots of things going on. Mm. There was also the time where um, I came back from Washington uh, and was sacked and, and, you know, I haven't mm. asked for an apology for that. That's the way... Uh, public affairs uh, these days is conducted, mm. and, and and you know people have sincere beliefs, and they want to do the best for their country. Final question: and They shouldn't apologise should... for that. Well, actually, I think I, I think... mean you and I have a different view, maybe, but but I think that. you'll find it's my view is the common view. Okay, okay. I honestly do, I, okay. and I'm saying I did not get you here. I actually thought you know over time after a year you go actually yes I'm sorry. It's essentially as simple as that. Okay. And then you okay. put up with one day's headlines, a quasi quasi saying, I'm sorry that we got it wrong and so, I damaged people's so, lives. So I think... Uh, why instead, you, instead, what you've got is a 15-minute attempt no, by me the to, reason, the reason in your I, eyes, wrestle some no, kind of fake apology not, out of you. I'm, in my I'm, eyes, get an apology for the, the people why whose lives you affected. Is that I think the strategy, and I think in the long term, we have to have a lower tax... Uh, but that's but that's different. And, and, and I don't think it is different. That I is think different. That's, that's, I'm not going to apologise for, for what the goal was. Yes. I'm not gonna, I, that's what I believe You're in. perfectly entitled. Honestly, I mean this, you're entitled to believe that your philosophy and your strategy would have worked over time. Mm. But I'm also entitled to go back at you and yeah, say you the are. implementation I'm, 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 I, was I reckless, it was wrong, it tanked the markets, it spooked everybody in the world of, of economics, and the consequence of that was you got fired very quickly and the Prime Minister lasted 44 days and the whole thing brought shame on this country. But more importantly, millions of people in this country suffered personal financial loss as a consequence of what you guys did. And I just find it baffling... Honestly, and I'm not trying to humiliate. No, no, I get that. Because I actually, that. I've always liked you as a no, politician, we, no, yeah, yeah. and I did think you were going to be a good chancellor. And I'm sorry it didn't work out for you, but I'm actually sorrier for the people who lost money. Sure. And I think they'll be watching this, going, "Why doesn't he just say sorry?" I understand where you're coming from. But last chance. Look, I just think last chance. It was, it was a difficult time. Last uh, chance. But I still believe, I still believe the strategy was the but right. But you know, one. the That's implementation why... was a fiasco. And, and and the implementation could have been better. You're I sorry for that. We sh I also think we should have had. Are more. you sorry for that? We should have had more for more time. There you go. I'm sorry for the implementation. The strategy sorry, was the right. And you're sorry for the damage the implementation so caused the, to so, the people. So there you go. You know, we've had this discussion. I think you're right to say. Uh, on consideration, I think you're right to say people should put their hand up, and also having put their hand up, they should be able to show some contrition. And, and I'm happy. You are to, sorry. I'm happy to show that. What I'm not happy to say, and what I stick to, is the fact that, as far as this country is concerned, and its wealth and its mm. prospects, we cannot tax ourselves right. to prosperity. But I, that, that's a different argument, and you're perfectly. No, but I made, that, I made that argument for the last. But minutes. am I right in thinking you now, minutes. for the damage that the implementation caused to millions of people, you're sorry? I, 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 I show. Abject uh, contrition. I'm very. Are you, are you sorry? Look, look. I, I, whatever formula of words. I think, I'm just I asking. Think are you sorry? I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you sorry. The turbulence that the uh, that was caused. You're sorry market. for the damage okay. it caused to British people. If, if, if that's what you want me no, to say. No, it's what I want you no, to look, want to say. Well, look, what I want to say is that I think the strategy was right. I'm sorry for the implementation. Are you that, sorry for the that, damage caused to the British I'm people? I'm sorry for the implementation, and it was it was too far. Too and for fast. the damage caused to the British people. I don't know why you... Look, there were lots because of... Because they suffered people, financial you know, lots loss. Lots of people were, lots of people were. But, no, but, but I, you were the Chancellor. OK, I was the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Are you sorry, sorry for, for the, the financial damage it caused to the British I'm people? I'm sorry for the uh, damage and uh, the loss and... Uh, and it was a scary time, and I'm sorry for that. Quasi, we got there. OK. And so, I've, so, I've not tried to drag that out of you. No, no, I, look... I've not tried to humiliate we've you. We've had a good conversation. Yes, and, and I think about, you've come to... A... I've thought about what you were saying. Yes. And I've, I thought, actually, you know, we've got to pick your hand up. I've accepted responsibility a long time ago. And you've said, well, why don't you get the, do the mm. step forward, uh, take a step further and apologise? And I've said, you know, that's fair enough. And now you have? Yeah. Do you feel better now? Um, not particularly. I don't feel better or worse. I feel... I'm glad, um, I'm glad you have. Well, I'm glad that you've, you, you're, you're happy, but I just I'm not think... happy. I'm just glad that you have not only recognised accountability... So I've totally recognised ..and responsibility, it. but I've you've totally also apologised now to the people who suffered. I've, I've totally recognised I think that. that is the right 
And a year, a year on, we've had an interesting debate, and I'm looking at you know splitting mm. hairs between responsibility and apologies yeah. and all the rest of it. And I think, I think broadly, you know, people were mm. adversely affected. It is a scary time, particularly with mortgages, uh, which are still going up in many instances. And I think on your on your principle, I think politicians should put their hands up and say they're sorry. Thank you, Kwasi Kwasi. Good to see you.